I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be my ex is entering the sex industry. I get an email here from a guy who telling me the girl that he used to date, and I guess he occasionally still hooks up with, has informed him that she's going in the sex industry, like doing online masturbation and all kinds of shit. And so he wonders what my opinion is on the whole thing. And so he says, hey, Coach Corey. So I just found out that my ex is entering the sex industry, not like porn, but webcam masturbation for random strangers and taking sexual photos for whoever pays for them. I don't even know what to think. Should I even talk to her anymore or be your friend or friend with benefits? Thanks. <laughs> Chris, who's confused. Well, it, the bottom line is if you accept this behavior and this is the kind of woman that you want to hang out with, then awesome. Keep hanging out with her, support her in her new career, and appreciate and love her. But if it's something that just totally turns you off and you're like, I don't want any, any of that shit in my life, then just stop calling her, stop being involved with her, and start dating the kind of women that you want to date. Because the danger that a lot of guys tend to fall into when they, when like say one relationship's ended and before the next really intense one ends, is like somewhere in between they're dating other women, but they still, until they, until you meet somebody that just really pushes your buttons in an awesome way, you're still always going to be thinking about what you had in the past because, I mean, let's face it, what I've learned over these several decades that I've been an adult and been dating and in the relationship scene and learning pickup skills and teaching guys over all the time that I've been involved in this stuff. And what I notice and see is that like when you're younger, you tend to just be happy that you're hooking up and you're getting laid. And then as you get a little older, you get some experience and you start applying the things that I teach and you start getting into some really great relationships with some super high quality women. What you realize is when you get used to driving a Ferrari or a Lambo and then decide, you say for whatever reason you both decide to go your separate ways, I mean, there's beautiful women everywhere and there's lots of women that you could hook up and hang out with, but she may, you may meet a girl and you think, oh, she's so amazing, but you're bored with her. Or you go out with a girl and she's a lot of fun, she's really hot, but her communication skills just totally suck. And when you've gotten to a place in your life where you're used to communicating like an adult with people and your friends communicate with you that way and your girlfriends communicate with you that way and you come across somebody that you like and who's also into you but they just don't have those skills and they're not willing to work on it themselves, then you end up going your, your separate ways. And so what I've learned is you tend to get pickier and yeah, there's lots of Toyota Camrys around. It's a nice car and everything but it doesn't mean that once you're used to driving a Ferrari or a Lambo that you're going to want to go and put up with what you have to put up with driving a Camry. It tends to be a little noisier, the ride's a little bumpier, doesn't have all the options and all the features, maybe not as fun to drive. I mean, there's a lot of things to consider in there. And so, like I said, what you want to do is if you're trying to move on from this previous relationship, but you guys are still hanging out and hooking up, that's what's easy. That's what's convenient, and it's really hard. And like I talked about in my book, when I when I got married, my first wife, what I realized is that after a year of marriage, it was. I mean, I the thing was is deep down, I always knew it wasn't right, but yet I stayed with her because I was too weak inside as a man. I was because I was young and I didn't have a lot of experience dating and having several different girlfriends, so it was very hard for me to end the relationship with the first real girlfriend that I had ever had. And so I was just doing what all my friends were doing and all, all the women that I knew were told, oh yeah, go ahead and marry her, great girl, I'd be an idiot to let her go and all that kind of crap. But deep down, my heart's telling me to do something different. And when I was younger, I tended to ignore those things and do what I thought I should do or what other people wanted me to do or what I thought would be the best thing for everybody and as opposed to doing what's right for me. So if you've got a question that you want to ask me or there's a topic that you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which is going to be on the left-hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs max detailing your questions, your situation, or your challenges, and just give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the Internet. And I also get a lot from my paying phone coaching customers, and so i got to answer their emails first, but be patient and I will get back to you. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. 
And you can do that by clicking the products tab, which is at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. And if you want to get a copy of my book, also on my website, on the right-hand column underneath the email sign-up box, is the link to my Amazon Kindle page. You can download the Amazon Kindle app and the Kindle version of my ebook in under 60 seconds to any electronic device, smartphone, tablet, PC, iPad, whatever kind of device you got, you can download in under 60 seconds. And I will talk to you soon.